Sophomore guard MJ Collins lifted the Hokies over Louisville 75 to 68 to start ACC schedule 1 and 0 in the 2023 and 24 campaign. After two consecutive routes, the Tech men's basketball team picked up a much needed win over Louisville. In front of a sold out orange effect crowd, Castle and the Hokies were back to its winning ways. Feel good to uh, get out of here with uh, you know the league opener and uh, we got a little time here now with two weeks and we play next Saturday at noon. We got a little time to, um, you know, look at uh, Virginia Tech. We need an uptick uh, bad. This has been a, a, a brutal or a long haul. Even with the victory, it was another slow start for the Hokies and fell down 10-2 to in the early going. Mike Young and his crew didn't pick up their first lead to the game until the 9.56 mark in the first half. I thought we defended. I thought we defended well. I thought we got shots contested after the first five minutes. My gosh. What a horrific start defensively. We're slow to the ball, closing out with our hands down. We'd, we'd never do that, or we're not supposed to do that. But um, after that point, uh, yeah, really good. Very good. Very good. The Hokies had a combined 16-2 run over the course of the final two minutes of the first half and the first two and a half minutes of the second half, and that proved to be the difference maker. Part of it. And then the nice start to start the second half. Kenny's got to call timeout at 18:09, something like that. Um, you know, those uh, those those little periods like that, you know, flip flip uh, some things and a um, uh, much better job from our team. Collins finished with a new career high 20 points with a perfect stat line behind the three point line and free throw line. The true sophomore was previously 0 for 11 from behind the arc to start the season, but drained three trays against the Cards today. I don't know. Uh, he, he hung in there. He was 0 for November from uh, from three. On a day that Mike Young and his team celebrated Hunter Couture for breaking the three-point record at Virginia Tech, the Hokies again struggled behind the arc. Instead of panicking, the maroon and orange dumped it down low to the breakout big man Lynn Kidd for some easy buckets. Kidd racked up another double-digit game with 19 points. Mike Young's bunch is back in action December 9th at noon next Saturday where they will host Valpo for a non-conference game. For Tech Sideline, I'm Nick Brown.